This is how he begs for things. Look at, look at the, the proof that you had candy already, right there. Chocolate on your face. Chocolate on your face. Hi, you guys. I don't match because I'm trying to lay my edges for this wig. Okay. Hey, don't, don't climb up there. Don't do that. Caleb is walking around my room and we're, I'm trying to figure out the reason why I'm making this video is I need some ideas of like what I could possibly do with him when I have him Saturday morning to just help him out. You know what I mean? Like maybe I can start doing some flashcards, but I'm like, whatever time that we have, whatever free time, I'm not like I'm trying to like work him you know until he's tired his brain or whatever because he deserves to relax too i would like to start working with certain things with him at home so uh, i'm gonna look around and see like you know uh, what other stop doing that um what other like um you know autism parents do because he doesn't have um any patience for me like i guess like he knows that his teachers are his teachers. And then when I am home with him and I try to work on things with him, he gets very frustrated and he kind of like runs away or he'll start yelling. And um, we're, we gotta work through that because that's not acceptable. There's candy over there and he knows it. So he's trying to like, can you stop please? You had enough. I went to the gym with um, one of my best friends and I did a Zumba class today. It was so fun. It was so, so fun. <laughs> like a little session where they teach us how to use the iPad for him at home um, to help him learn how to communicate with it but um, yeah um, I wanted to mention that we qualified for um, something in I don't know if it's in only in New Jersey but it's something called perform care and um, they're gonna come to the house they're gonna come to the house and like you know basically uh, evaluate and see what he needs um, but so far we have um, definitely qualified for a respite we're gonna qualify for a lot of things with him because he needs extra help on um, behavioral therapy speech and I also believe um, occupational therapy too for him anyways guys um, I guess I'll try to talk a little bit more after I drop him off because that iPad is really loud and it's locked so we can't turn it down or anything like that so I'll be back Hey you guys, I just realized that I never like ended the video or came back to talk about what I was saying earlier. Oh my god, I don't think I don't have any eyebrows. But um, <laughs> yeah. So for Perform Care, I'm not sure if that's just in New Jersey. I'm going to try to get some more information about it so I possibly can make a video about it. Because I was trying to look it up on YouTube but I don't see many videos about Perform Care. I feel like I'm blacked out. <laughs> but we like i said before i think we qualify for 20 hours of respite care and if you don't know what respite care is it's when someone comes to help you they have a center there's two ways that i've been told that they do it they actually offer like overnight help if you need it we qualified for 20 hours so i'm not sure how that works i guess we can break it up i'm not sure how they're splitting it i think 20 hours per week i think we qualify i i'm gonna i'm gonna clarify that but um yeah they come and they help you like if you have to go you know to the supermarket or run some errands like you know go shopping for the house go to the gym anything take a nap they will come and help you which is awesome 
Um, you could either have them come to your house or you can bring them to like a daycare kind of center um, and they'll watch them for you. But we chose for them to come to the house for now. And if that doesn't work out, we'll do the center thing. But I think that that's so cool because some, there's been a lot of times where I want to go to the gym and I'm like, I can't because, you know, um, my gym has a daycare. Caleb is seven, but I don't I don't know if they will be able to, like, you know, care for him because he's really fast. He's you know, I never tried it because I just don't want to, like, cause any commotion because <laughs> he runs away. He does things like that. And he'll sometimes he's in a bad mood. He's having a meltdown. And, you know, you just kind of have to put your own needs aside if you don't have, like, help right then and there. So I, I always find ways, like, to do what I need to do. You know, you just have to work around it. But it's awesome if you could get somebody to help you and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, guys, I decided to, like, uh, get my stand or whatever because my, I was like, yeah, blah, blah, And, you know, your arm gets tired after a while. It's here. Yeah, so I was saying, like, we're definitely going to qualify for um, more things. It's, it's pretty inevitable. And it's a good thing if you can get extra help in any type of way. So more than likely, they said um, that going off of his IP for school, He's gonna qualify for like speech pro speech therapy pro probably blah blah blah. What did I say before? Occupational and behavioral and stuff like that. So we're gonna see what he qualifies for. Someone's gonna come to the house, I believe, on Monday, this coming Monday. Right now it is Saturday, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see. I will keep you guys updated on that from there, you know. And this is all like no cost. I forgot to mention that when I say qualify that's what I mean like we're not gonna have to pay for anything it's through basically like his social security and I believe like um, insurance and stuff like that but yeah I think it's awesome and I'm happy that we found out about it the psychiatrist that just left he's the one that told us about it so I think that was really amazing that he let us know about those services because there's a lot of things that Caleb does that we think is behavioral like when he comes home and he has meltdowns so if we have somebody to help us figure out like why he does these things and how to like kind of transition him from being in school then to aftercare commuting home and then coming in the house without melting down or try to find out what makes him melt down when he does that which he's kind of calmed down with that so I'll keep you guys updated on that. I don't want to talk too much because now it's getting like to two minutes and I was, you know. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to just chill, you know, enjoy the little time that I have to myself. Um, Caleb is with his father and everything like that today. So I'll go and pick him up tomorrow. And that's about it. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you. Oh.